Hello and welcome to the Gamers Table. It is Monday and we are reviewing 24 Undercover. Well, your objective in 24 Undercover is to be the first player to correctly identify another player's hand, consisting of a CTU character, location, and technology card. CTU card locations are revealed throughout the game by spying on exposing CTU cards and by interrogating and cell calling other players. Information that you gather will help you form your accusations. Keep track of this information on your PDA. Your PDA is basically a little slip of paper with names and places and color codes and numbers on here that you slip into your little sleeve here to hide it from the other players. And there are other Hello? little... Yeah, sorry, I'm too busy taping. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. All right. We got other little cards that come into play in, during the game. Uh, this, I think it was the cell call function yeah. there. And you slip them in there, and it gives you a little information there. And you hand that over to the other player when they do that to you. Some neat little mechanics going on in this game. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, um, handcuffed to the spinning wheel. Yeah. Well, it's better than a dice, right? Well, well, no, no. no. <laughs> the, the very it same basically is, is a die. <laughs> yes. It's one to six. It's a die. Yeah. You spin so, it instead of roll it. Because you're spinning this, um, we have numbers in there, one to six. It could be represented by a die rather simply. And that says how many places, spaces you will move, Jackie boy, around the board. You tried typing interrogate on a die, though. There's <laughs> the board. <laughs> you could have just made it icons. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And otherwise, it has interrogate, spy, switch, cell call... Expose and spy, which means there are five things you can do in the game, but you can only do it if you spin it. When you're forced to go somewhere you don't want to go because of a random spin of the wheel there, you know, like, I need information on the locations here. I'm not getting it because I can't spin those freaking numbers. I can't land on it. So I'm missing out on a whole, like a third of the information in the game. Do I need to spy? Do we need to expose? Doesn't matter. I'm going to interrogate, even if I didn't want to. Uh, Jack moves around only on face-down cards, cards that haven't been exposed yet, because whatever you roll might force that card to be exposed. Which means as the game goes on, there are less and less spaces for Jack to move to because more and more stuff gets exposed. It's a clue variant where there's not just one set of cards to be guessing on. Everyone's got their own set of cards. So you might have a bit better of a chance depending on uh, whose cards you might know a little bit better. Um, the interrogate is probably the best uh, spinner result to get because then you can actually take three guesses of somebody's hand and if they have to reveal whatever you get right. So you, you get some good information that way, but it's all random. You flick it, you move Jack Bauer, you do what it says. I mean, if you're if you luck into the good information, then there's a good chance you can win the game. But if you're terrible at recording information or remembering stuff, you're probably not going to win this game. So there's a slight, slight amount of skill involved in this game. I'm sure they thought this was a neat mechanic, but it basically breaks the information process. What you do is you write down, when you discover it, what hour any one card was at. Begin. We're all trying to figure out what three cards the other people have based on this list here. But you could get the switch, which gets rid of the card I have for a similar one from the board. Okay, so now the number at 10 at p.m., the card I've written out at 10 p.m. is not there anymore, and I've changed the one that they were narrowing down. So it's like, well, let's figure out what you are, but at any time you could change what you are, so I can't figure out what you are. And my information is now in the wrong thing, and when somebody does a cell call, they're going to see the wrong information too. So not only do I have the wrong information, so do they. What the f*** were you thinking? <laughs> Wrapping up for 24 Undercover. I give 24 CTU Undercover a 3. Theme again? is based on the TV series 24. It's a clue variant, so it's sort of more along the theme than the other game that we reviewed about 24, because you're at least sort of trying to do some kind of investigation, even though it's haphazard and the people can change who they are at any time, sort of chameleon-like. And it's like... Um, easy to play. 
yeah, not that difficult. I mean, the things are all on here. You spin them. It's just the de the usual frustration factor of a random element controlling what you need to do in the game instead of any actual you know thought. And fun mm -hmm. to play? No, again, not so much fun to play because of that random element and because people you almost narrowed it down. You've got them cornered, and oh, now they're not who they were anymore. I'm I'm sure they're trying to get the tension of the show. But as I say, for a deduction game, being able to whenever you want, well, whenever this die requires you to, change who you are, just throw away some of your cards and get new ones. You can't do that if somebody's randomly getting new cards. You can't figure out who they are. Just a four. This this game, yeah, this is for needing to write down information, deduction and stuff like that, especially when things get switched around. There's like no room on there to write anything down. You got like a little teeny box like that to write all your information down there. So unless you can, you know, you made write on a microscopic s <laughs> scale, you're kind of out of luck there. But, uh, you know, I didn't mind it too much, you know, other than that switch factor kind of screwing it up or, you know, just a random spin there. It's like, oh, I need locations, but I keep landing on characters and gadgets all the time. So I'm not really, I'm missing about a whole chunk of information. Uh, I don't think I'd ever play it again. <laughs> I, <laughs> but, you know, I do like it better than the Countdown one. I give CTU Undercover a 4. Well, one thing I do like about this game is you can, you don't have to guess at just the three that are in the envelope face down like Clue. You can pick from anybody, depending on which, who you think you know the information better. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, the Switch thing... I don't th it doesn't bother me as much. Yes, it does mess up with the whole information in the cell call, but oh, people have wrong information in their cell phone all the time. So <laughs> uh, it, it just adds to the memory. You just got to, okay, he switched that card. So no, now there's two cards that could be possibly in that in that uh, time position. But Well, no, he switches them face up. You know what's in it now. When he yeah. switches oh, the yeah. new card, is face up. So it's, it's not that bad. It'll mess up with the cell phone information. That's about it. But all in all, it's not terrible. Like, it's just random, but... Oh, my God! If you're going to make a clue game where you got to guess three things, you can't freaking change them! You know, I understand in the modern world we like to do code breaking and codes that change every five seconds, but not in a board game! Good grief, what were you thinking? Well, well, let's make a clue very, but let's make it change all the time so it adds attention. Oh. Doesn't add attention, just makes frustration. Makes a pain in the ass game. Why would anybody bother playing it? That's it yep. for this episode of The Gamer's Table. Tune in next week when we promise the games won't be this bad. <laughs> we will. <laughs> well, no. Uh, but... Good God, you rant, just rant, stick rant, 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 with rant, rant, the whole rant, stupid rant, idea rant, of rant, bad, rant, bad, rant, bad licensed games. Rant, rant. It's kind of like a really poor version of Clue or what was that Abbey? I forgot the name already. What Mystery is that? Abbey. Mystery of the Abbey. These guys are just sitting off camera here. You help me out. And poking me and stuff. Yeah, I'm ticklish. You see that jump? Wow. <laughs> they go through the roof. All right. Yeah, I was... Count or yeah. undercover. <laughs> Stop laughing over there. Undercover. You know, I don't think I'd ever play it again. Hey, I'll see soft hand. We bring you provisions. Yeah, soft hands hurt. He's not hurt. He's dead. Shut up, Far. He's dying. I'm amazed he survived this long. We've been tricked. Someone has been ahead of us every step of the way. I name you Thief of the Scroll. 
They killed Will Strongarm! I saw them! Oh, I'm sure they'll try for me next! Trace? Blackwings? Oh, Simeon! Why did you have to take everyone from me? Ah!